Greetings. Welcome to a special broadcast. As today is the the month of June, of course, June the 6th, 2022. Now for many of us Seventh-day Adventists, we should know if we have been paying attention. We should know what this day is, what is going on today as we are speaking. Just in case you were not aware of this, the general conference session, the 2022 GC session is on the way. As we are speaking, it is being broadcast live. What will Seventh-day Adventists actually find within doing the GC session? Will there be truth as Jesus mentioned in Matthew chapter 24? To feed the house of God with present truth in these last days to help them to understand the signs of the times? Will there be some of those things being presented? Will the papacy be exposed as Paul tells us, especially in the book of 2 Thessalonians, to expose the men of sin because that men of sin must be exposed prior to the second coming of Jesus Christ or will we find as Paul again described in 2nd Thessalonians within this GC session a falling away first that is the apostasy from the truth and then that the men of sin be revealed my brothers and my sisters many seven-day Adventists are still relying on the leadership of the general conference when it is Jesus that we must follow as the disciples realize and when Jesus came and called them out from the apostasy now again last Sabbath I shared with you a sermon whereas we saw how the general conference are fighting the leadership there that is are fighting for the papacy they were promoting subliminal messages 666 subliminal messages by showing us here on the screen even Ted Wilson he said in this video as we played for you that he announced the beginning of the GC session which is today as you can see on the screen he said Monday June the 6th Sabbath June the 11th is when it ends and once again June the month of June is the sixth month of the year and then it begins on the sixth day of the month and then it ends six days later now one more time some have already saying that I am a conspiracy theorist I'm just trying to bring something that's not there seriously think about this for a moment who put this program together who was the mind that thought about starting this event on June the 6th 6 6 for a period of six days then you have 666 now by the way even the year let's just say you were to remove the duration the six days duration of the event even the year 2022 you have two plus zero that equals two plus two that equals four and plus two that equals six wherever you turn the way they have put this together you're going to find the number 666 but brothers and sisters God has a way to speak to us without us expecting this as I sigh and cry last Sabbath about the subliminal 666 messages lo and behold Today, again, 
June the 6th. We publish this morning our daily devotional as we always do, Maranatha. Guess what the title of Maranatha, the, this devotional from this morning, for today, guess what this title was? Again, June the 6th. What was the title? Listen now. Here is the title there, Maranatha, first arrow on the top, left, and then the second arrow is apostasy prepares the way, June 6. Coincidence? That as I was crying out last Sabbath against the subliminal messages, 666, June 6, the event started today, for a duration of six days, and then today, devotional was apostasy prepares the way. That was not a coincidence, brothers and sisters. That was God telling us what is indeed taking place, what is indeed happening within GC. It is indeed the apostasy that is preparing the way of the papacy. There it is on the screen. This is again at the bottom part of the title for today's devotional. Apostasy prepares the way. And whose way is that? Not the way of Jesus Christ. That is apostasy prepares the way for the papacy. Oh, brothers and sisters. As, again, the event started today, have we been seeing some signs of apostasy so far that is preparing indeed the way of the papacy? Well, at the very beginning, while you were waiting online for the event to begin, they started by having some music, some singing, and one group on the screen that was singing and behind them what do we have there behind them you have the Roman cross there the Roman Catholic cross subliminal messages one more time many again they are going to call me conspiracy theories while you are being your mind is being brainwashed deceived to worship the beast within our own denomination. There it is again, the cross right behind there. That seems like, it looks like a Roman Catholic church. That was today, earlier today. And as I mentioned, as, as I am speaking, the session is still live on YouTube right now. And the next thing, the next signs, again, Right before the actual session begin, the commencement of the session, they were entertaining us with songs and music. And there was this group from Brazil. They were singing. They were dancing to this music. Listen now. While you were waiting for the session to begin, they were entertaining you. That music there sounds like salsa, merengue, all of those things. And how do I know? Somebody's asking. Well, I used to dance to these rhythms. Mm -hmm. I was in the world as well. I know exactly what's going on there. One more time. What should we expect? During this juicy session, you're going to hear some truth there, that's for sure. But it's going to be mingled with many errors as we are already witnessing. Remember what they have said as, as we covered last time. They have said here that censorship and the GC session agenda that 
from full Crumb 7, June 1st, 2022. In reviewing the GC's agenda and considering certain events that have occurred within the last few months, it is clear that a new pattern is emerging. Pastors are being censored, banned, fired. And this GC session 2022 agenda provides a window into the future legitimacy of these actions. GC session 2022 agenda on page 53, line 24, authorize speakers, only speakers worthy of confidence will be invited to the pulpit by the local church pastor in quote-unquote harmony with guidelines given by the conference. In other words, if you are not bowing to the papacy, you will not be a uh, allowed to speak there. If you are not ganundiap, shaking hands with the papacy, and is involved in all kinds of ecumenical gathering, no, you cannot be a presenter. You cannot be speaking at any Seventh Day Adventist church. That is the guideline there. Remember. They said to John the Baptist, who gave you the authority? They said to Jesus, who gave you the authority? You did not go to Andrews University. You did not get a PhD, which is permanent head damage in their theology, in spiritualism. You did not get that. Who gave you the authority? Anyone who dare to speak against the Pope, who has rejected the poison of the papacy is not allowed to speak at GC. Now, another point. Remember, as we looked at the group from Brazil, there are still many countries today, including the United States of America, that are still requiring vaccination. How did they fly out of their countries that required vaccination or the poison of Babylon to come here, to go there, to the United States of America? Hmm? They have taken it, the sorceries of Babylon. Then again, brothers and sisters, we are told that in these last days, God must have a people that will do two things expose the abomination within and expose the abomination of babylon listen to maranatha the devotional again with the title for june 6 says apostasy prepares the way it was apostasy that led the early church to seek the aid of the civil government and this prepared the way for the development of the papacy who is the beast, said Paul. There shall come a falling away and that men of sin be revealed. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. So apostasy in the church will prepare the way for the image of the beast. Remember again, Paul was writing this, speaking here, in the context of the second coming of Jesus Christ. What is the theme of of the 61st GC session, the second coming of Jesus Christ. And what did the Apostle Paul say again, and Spirit of Prophecy quoted, must take place or will take place prior to the second coming, apostasy from the truth, and then the men of sin will be revealed. And again, today is June 6, 2022. The GC session started on the six months of the year, June, on the six days of the month, for a duration of six consecutive days, brothers and sisters. You have 666. So apostasy, the falling away, is preparing the way for the papacy. Listen to what Maranatha went on to say. Not only is Satan leading the world captive, but his deceptions are leavening the profess, 
churches of our Lord Jesus Christ. The great apostasy will develop into darkness deep as midnight to God's people. It will be a night of trial, a night of weeping, a night of persecution for the truth's sake. But, listen now, out of that night of darkness, God's light will shine. Out of this deep apostasy, out of this darkness, God's light will shine. And in the book of Isaiah chapter 60, this is the light that spirit of prophecy is referring to. When we see such gross darkness in our world and such deep Adventists, they're going to tell you what you want to hear. Things that will please the itching ears. But again, remember, God's word is true. The same apostasy that took place prior to the first advent must take place and is taking place today. Which tells us once again that as the apostle Paul was describing in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, that Jesus is even at the door. That means we need to get ready, get ready, get ready, because Jesus will come at a time and hour we are least expecting it, but to those who have been watching and studying and understand how deep the rabbit hole of apostasy is, will side will be on the side of Jesus Christ to expose the apostasy and expose the men of sin. May God richly bless you. <clears throat>